Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 2003 Transformer Collection Show Accurate Generation 1 Starscream figure. So this is brilliant. This is what's known as the Takara Book Collection number 9 and I'll show you more about that in a second. But what makes this an extra special Generation 1 Starscream reissue is you can see there that it's got show or tune accurate colour scheme with him, new stickers, lighter blue apps and quite a few more things in there we're going to have a detailed look at in a second. There is of course the original Generation 1 figure that he is of course based on and the mould has been used. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at everything inside this packaging, everything inside is still sealed. The reason why it's called a Takara book collection is because these were to be stored on your shelves and they do look like books and indeed he is number nine. Again, with him being Starscream, we are going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes. We are going to do some comparisons of him, not just with the original figure, but with a few other Starscreams as well. Because love him or hate him, he has got so many figures. And I'm just putting up only a few of the ones that I've got and only a fraction of the ones that have actually, of course, been reissued, made, re-released, upgraded, etc, etc. Even from tiny little Fisher Takara official Takara World smallest Transformers like that, all the way up to the Combiner Wars leader versions, which are in fact bigger than the Masterpiece versions. As you can see, so much Starscream, so much to get through with this video. So if you're not a subscriber to this channel, as I'm popping these away, I'd like you to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me and this channel out. So as I mentioned, this originally came out in 2003 and it was released in Japan by Takara and as I said they were called the Takara book collection because that's what they basically were replicating if you open up the front you do actually have a little book inside as well now unfortunately I can't read Japanese there is of course some contents there we've got a lovely I suppose generation one artwork picture of him here and then I think ironically enough this is reading this way and what I mean by that is in Japan you read the books the opposite way around so I think this is obviously more maybe for the English reader, even though it is all in Japan. So we've got um, episodes there, I suppose, where he is a huge part. War Dawn's fantastic and, of course, very topical at this very moment. Uh, we've got some more episodes there. We've got Destron, which, for those of you who didn't know, is the Japanese word for Decepticons. So we've got Galvatron and Ratbat. It must be talking about leaders there, maybe. And then we've got a lovely poster, which folds out there, of the Seekers. Yep, they're pretty much all on there with Starscream himself at the helm. And then we've got more toys there. So it is saying catalogue. I think Blitzwing is the next one or the one after in the book collection. Um, and finally, there is Starscream himself. Jet mode, anime pictures. And as I say, this is the purpose of this to replicate the animated version of it. So... The top is open like this. I love they do this with Japanese figures. There's four robot points on the inside of the flaps. If we open this up carefully, we've got a DVD. This is, I believe, and the DVD is, it features a trailer of the upcoming PlayStation 2 video game, and it's got Japanese toy commercials for Optimus Prime, Rodimus Prime, and Chrome Dome. Yes, I've just read that, just to make sure that I didn't get it wrong. This is all of the things that come with him. It does have a sticker sheet. Let's have a look at this. As I say, it is sealed, but I'm more than happy to get this figure out and give it a good showcase, because in all honesty, I want to display it, because I love the colour scheme on it, um, and I just love the Seeker Jets. Again, I spoke like most people, to be fair. So, we've got, as usual, as you get with Japanese figures, we've got a collector's card. There he is. There's his stats on the back. We've got a sticker sheet, even though lots of this has got temper graphs on already. I'm not going to be putting the stickers on, though. We've got the instruction sheet. Um, I'll do the transformation process because it is quite simple. And we've also got the feedback uh, card as well that come again with pretty much all the Japanese figures. Now, I'm not going to take the missiles off the sprue. I hope you appreciate why I'm not going to do that. But I am going to take him fully out and as I say, have a really good look at him. So this is, it looks like it's a clamshell. Um, and yes, it's sellotaped around there. So as I'm on, well, as I'm cutting him out of this, I have to confess again that I used to be, until I started this channel, one of them collectors that brought a figure and put it up on the shelf. Now, I suppose depending on which figure it is, um, 
in its rarity i'm quite in fact i'm more than happy to be doing things like this to be able to show you figures that i think look amazing and of course it'd be one of the main reasons why i brought it because i just thought it looked great and i like the idea of it and it just seems to be a thing that they're doing a lot of at the moment um they started you know with springless i suppose toy color accurate figures with the wreckers even though it was the update um but i can see them doing this a lot lot more in the future just miss these around here the other thing as well that i've read about this is the fists are molded slightly different as we'll see in a second and they do yeah they've got little tabs on so this means that we can obviously hold on to some of the weapons i believe yep and that one's got a cut out so he can actually hold will it fit in yep there you go look he's going to be able to hold and fire his weapons so let's move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing um, and as i say i'm not going to be taking the missiles off the sprue unfortunately i'll just use the ones on the other um star screen figure now we've also got in here we've got an original g1 optimus prime fist and again this was because he could hold megatron as well there's loads of clips here i'm completely honest i've never seen this before so i could do that with generation one optimus prime if i wanted to and i also believe it so you can attach the gun underneath to replicate i think it was an episode what was it called i think it was sos dinobots when you could attach the gun when he did attach the gun underneath anyway let's have a look at this so can you tell that it's a different gray it is a slightly different gray you can see the difference in the wing it's got the right stripe around it as well um the cockpit is brilliant it is bright orange so that is exactly like the cartoon the blue is a much much lighter blue you can see there compared it really is toy accurate sorry cartoon accurate which is exactly what they said it would be so let's build these up where's the tail fins i'm just going to pop these in super light though i'm not going to push it in so the date stamp on there should say 2003 or does it say before 2002 it does so i'm just going to press this there bring this over the side and i suppose if you think about it now these were the original parts formers because there's a hell of a lot of parts that come with all of these and exactly that you did break them down and build them up back into their robot mode there we go this is going to be brilliant there is your tune accurate starscream he would have some stickers on there as well maybe i'm not in this video i'm going to put the stickers on anyway there is the uh missile launches as they would be and i'm just going to see where this would attach i can't think where it would attach unless you would literally just take this off oh would you tab it into one of these maybe into there let's have a quick look will it fit there you go so you can even tab megatron on the underside like so i also wonder if you could put it on the top like that as well no nope, you couldn't do that but I suppose you can see and you get the gist there of exactly how he looks in his beautiful seeker mode. Now, I've got to confess, I won't be displaying him in his seeker mode, even though it does look fantastic. I will be displaying him in the robot mode. So let's have a look at this then. So we can probably just, if I move these out the side, I'm going to try and do this as best I can without taking it all apart. So let's take this out of there. I'm just going to take it off actually it's a new toy and I don't want to damage it trying to be clever with it so let's fold the feet down like so let's fold these back like that now these can go either way to be honest I know this sometimes splits the fandom some people put them that way and some people put them the other way I'm going to pop them that way for now let's push the arms out let's take the landing gear off push the arms right the way through oh i probably shouldn't be doing this not first time anyway and separate the nose cone and push through like so here comes the head he's not a cone head so we're going to phone him back fold that back there's the fist slot them on there's the fist oh have I put them the wrong way around? I have. I put them the wrong way around because the hole is at the top. And here's the wings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, let's have a look at this. Brilliant. Love it. Love it straight away. 
think it looks great exactly like that and you can look you can put these in his hands if you wanted to although let's be honest <clears throat> no rays etc they should never never go in his hands that's um <clears throat> pretty much what you can do with these guys the newer versions of him and i've just put them in his hands just to display but it looks so much better as i'm sure you'll agree when you pop them on the side of the arms like this so that i think is his classics version so this was i think the first sort of time they changed the mold from this from the original generation one even though we are still getting versions of this so we can separate the stock as you can see there that is the megatron we can separate the stock that must clip underneath actually i'll have another look at that and add that later on um but you can of course here as it said you can put megatron in his hands like so brilliant let's take some of the weapons from the original one just to make him look oh that's another thing as well i forgot to mention you i don't know if you heard the tension that was inside that because it's a takara product and the safety laws are slightly different compared to being in the um us in the uk yeah that's got a load of venom on it and you can probably hear the tension in the spring when it clicks in so yeah there's no restrictions with them whatsoever if you're wondering what i'm on about this was the standard us and indeed uk um release literally just dropped out huge huge difference so let's pull this guy out of the way and let's bring up the generation one original so there you go you can see that you can definitely see there the difference of course in the light blue i'm thinking now i probably should sticker him up because he will look so much better um this is him with the null rays it's brilliant that he's got this five millimeter post that means you can pretty much put any weapon in his hand i would imagine right now let's see what else we can find um is it five mil let's have a look it is that's one of the autobot cars from the classics toy line as you can see you can put that in there no problem whatsoever let's just move these out of the way and then bring up some more star screams for comparison so this i think was the same year actually the world's smallest star scream it was so this is an official takara product this again was only sold in japan that is the world's smallest star scream and again that transforms if you want any more information on him there's a video on this channel then we've got the siege version of him there which was of course very interesting because it is the first time they made obviously a tetrajet version of him this one i'm about to put on this side is as of the date of this video the most up-to-date version of him that's the studio series um, 86 version of him and then i do have the masterpiece version but i just want to stay i suppose with the generations lines and anyway this is the biggest version of him that's bigger than the masterpiece one that i've got so we've got the combiner wars leader class version there a whole lot of star screams there and i am sure that we will be treated to even more of them down at the generations toy line and indeed i suppose the movies but even though they'll be different looking bots anyway just wanted to showcase and share this particular version of him with you guys if you're also interested in him his this is again it is the transformers takara book collection number nine and it is starscream very quickly let's have a look on the back we've got all what's in this particular pack we've got the fact there that you can see oh there's my bad you can actually attach the gun underneath you can see there how it's showing you can do it um and there is of course him holding the gun there as well and these are the other figures that were also available in the takara book releases as well it is the same as underneath it's just on the wing anyway this concludes the quick video review and showcase of an amazing character and yet again another amazing version of him thanks for watching guys take care so very quickly at the end i've just quickly read the instructions there it is and you can attach the gun slightly better than i did just in the missile socket you've got these little tabs here and this will attach via that tab 
right like so so you can pop it on that side oh, as it just pops off typically it's just going over there according to the instructions if i'm wrong please don't be afraid to leave me a comment um, on how to do it correctly as i say you just saw for yourselves i just took it out first hand and had a look at it so that's how we can also attach it in this mode as well as as i had in the original video putting the tab into there now let's have a quick look correctly at how we can put him in the robot's hand as well so then very quickly at the end, I did just want to add this and I've had a quick chance to have a look at it properly myself. You can, and I think this is brilliant as well. This separates, as we say, you've got that cut out there for the tab. So you can, of course, pop this underneath his hand like so. And brilliant, you've got him with the full stock there as well, which again, it just looks great. Um, and it's just, I suppose, another little bonus add-on. Now I've had a chance to fully look at the instructions and have a look what we can do with him. There we go.